Hey guys, this is Star coming through with a little bit of Sprinkle Sprinkle. I hope that this is a fantastic week. It's the week before Christmas. Uh, Christmas is on Saturday. I can't wait till Christmas is here and over so that uh, we can get on with to get on with what's going on next week. Yes, some great things going on next week. Uh, we just came out of a new moon, which was on December the 4th, and then we turned around and had an eclipse uh, around the same time. So there's some new energy and some unexpected fate happening. So there should be some breakthrough energy going forth. And uh, if we pay attention to who is exiting and who is entering, we will recognize the blessing or what side of faith that we are on. How about that? Um, so there's a new sense of self-worth, security, and respect for nature. And and honestly, that one is real strong with me, right? I, not only do, want, do I want to get out in nature, but I have really been selling these all-natural hair and body oils. This uh, Royal Remedy by Hillstar, my brand. And I'm telling you that I have never sold anything that I believe in like this. And I have never heard so many testimonials. And I'm in amazement every day with each and every testimony that comes in. So I am so thankful and amazed. I just can't say that enough. That I am amazed that it's this right something that I've been working on for like 25 years and it ended up being something right and um but it's really caused a change in my value system um where there were things that I held dear before and I it was important to me um those things have changed right um because now what's important above everything is health having a healthy body and a healthy mind, a, a healthy soul, a healthy spirit, a healthy life, healthy friends, healthy clients, healthy children, healthy family members, healthy associates. Health is wealth, honey. So um, there's that's a big, huge, abrupt change in my paradigm or plans that I had, right? And um, one thing was, um, I, I wanted to gain weight, so I was like, I'm going to eat everything during the holidays so I can gain some weight. But let me tell you, I had one of those, I'm eating everything kind of week last week, and this morning I woke up paying for it. I paid for it yesterday because my energy was depleted because of all the meat I consumed last week. So I, I have to take in Daniel 1 that I heard on Friday about eating fruit and vegetables and trying that for 10 days just to see what happens right to see what my countenance look like in 10 days after eating just fruit and vegetables so that's what i will be doing and participating in for the next 10 days is eating nothing but fruit and vegetables so today's the 20th so i have until the 30th where i'll eat nothing but fruit and vegetables and the first day that i can eat something other than fruit and vegetable would be on the 31st of December, the day before January 1st, 2022. And so what we will do is go into 2022 with a new what? Paradigm. A new what? Change in our value systems. And and, and we're going to be open-minded in 22, right? We're going to be out with the old and in with the new, okay? that's Because that's the revelation, is that we're going to have communication clarity, and that's communication clarity in everything, right? It's gonna, communication clarity is my marketing strategy for 2022, right? Where I will constantly be in your face with, we got to get out of nature, right? We got to do what's natural because it really is a war out here between nature versus nurture. Like, are we going to... Eat what nature has provided for us to eat. Or are we going to eat what we have nurtured ourselves to learn to consume? Because that's what happened with Adam and Eve in Genesis. Is where they had a... Uh, they did not have clarity of thought on what they were supposed to eat. They knew they were supposed to eat nothing but... Everything that on every tree that he said you can eat from, except that one, which was the knowledge of good and evil tree. So, 
we got to be conscious of what we're eating and what we're consuming and make sure that what we eating and consuming has been blessed by God for us to eat and to consume. Because the people that he chose and he anointed and he set apart to be a part of his royal priesthood, he has called us up to a higher standard of living, uh, a higher standard of thinking and doing. And once you acknowledge knowledge, once you acknowledge God and your knowledge and God give you his knowledge, you can't act like you don't have that knowledge. Because if you do, you, you turn into a reprobated mind where you just become godless on every strength of it. And it had, does have something to do with eating, right? Uh, being godless and not eating. Like I read an article that was in... I believe psychology today and it was talking about the our cognitive dissonance with food and our relationship with food and how we use co- how we use cognitive dissonance when it comes to eating and consuming food especially animals. So I was like, wow, how we know that the animal isn't better protein for us and we know all of the health conditions that have popped up in the last 100 years because we are eating meat at an alarming rate in a way that we haven't been carnivores on this level before you know originally our ancestors were more like vegetarians because meat was not something that was so easy to get Or it just wasn't so readily available. You know, you would kill your one cow and chop that up and put it in the smokehouse and y'all would eat that all winter. You know, and then you would scarcely have meat uh, in the summertime. You would eat like more fish in the summer. You know, there were things that you ate certain times of the year because of the energy. So we got to get back to that. We got to get back to the basics on eating and eating right because... I know I'm not the only one that wanted to live to be 109. And I, I can't be by myself at 109. Be the only one. Um, so that I've been urged to encourage others to think about more healthy ways to eat. And, you know, just eat food that's good for digestion, good for nutrition, and good for energy. Okay? You don't need anything that's going to deplete your energy. You don't. Then you gotta take an energy drink, which is going to mess you up even more. Like, let's get back to nature and get back to the natural ways of doing things because that's going to help us over a longer period of time than us just going along with the crowd, going along to get along. Um, It's time out for that, and it's time for us to take a stand for what's right as far as what we put in putting in our mouths Adam and Eve had a problem with obeying God in this they they thought that they could put stuff in their mouth that God did not tell them to put in their mouth that he did not bless for them to put in their mouths it was there it could be eaten but they were not supposed to eat it and so that's the same situation that Daniel was faced he and his friends were faced with which was there was some royal food there put in their face for them to eat because that was their portion and it was a royal portion however God was like that's not the portion that I have decreed and declared for you I said you eat fruit and vegetables and that's it and your countenance is gonna look better than the people that's not eating the fruit and vegetables that I have blessed for you to eat. Okay? Let them do what they're doing. You do what I told you to do. It don't matter what they're doing. So we got to get on that level of thinking like God. Okay? Where we don't eat everything that's offered to us. We don't eat everything that's on the table. We don't eat everything that they say, this is yours and this is the best. No. We got to let God choose what's best for us. Not us choose our best. So, that's my little tidbit for today. Yes. So, hopefully you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Send this uh, to whoever you know. Um, And let us grow. Let us elevate in our thinking about 
how we're eating and how we're consuming food. And let us just choose food that is good for us. Not just tastes good, but good for us. Good for our digestive system. Good for our energy system. Good for the circulatory system. Good for our brain. So we can think the most positive thoughts possible. Okay? Because we are trying to use more than just 10% of our brains. We need to get up out of that retarded state of mind. Where we only use 10% of our brain. We we need to elevate from that part. Okay, so that's my little take on it today. I hope you guys have a great, 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 great day. Be blessed. Peace and blessings.